Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you all the fountain pens purchases I have made from Amazon. Uh, I am a new, I am new to fountain pens. So actually I purchased quite a few um, through Amazon that are um, cost effective or for beginners, shall we say. So I bought a, quite a bit to see which one actually I might end up liking. So I'm going to go in the order of from least expensive to and going up but the most expensive uh, one I have is like $23 so it's not that much but um because I know that these fountain pens like for those folks out there the nice ones could be like up to the hundreds if not sometimes thousands so mine's not that way number one I'll um share with you the most uh, least expensive um fountain pen I bought is this thing right here is called is by Hong um what's it called Hong Dian H-O-N-G uh, D I E N Hong Dian. So I bought this. It was on Amazon for um. It's like the it was super the least expensive. I bought it for I think I would like to say about around eleven dollars. Um, I got it in an extra fine nib. So the nib here. Oh, can I focus? Focus, focus. Um, is extra fine. It got really good ratings on um. On Amazon and this actually came with the converter so that's nice but if you look the ink looks like the ink looks like it's like stagnant that's interesting so I might have to re-ink this but go ahead and this is it fine then let me see how let me test out here so this is the extra fine nib So if you notice, it writes super fine, extra fine nib. All right, so this was that. So that's my least, most least expensive. Moving on, the next um, least expensive would actually be called uh, from Jin Hao, J I N H A O. It's X seven fifty. For the for two of these on Amazon, it was eleven dollars. So actually, technically, I guess this is even more or less expensive than the previous one. But and these are. Um, so this one is, it's like a metal. It feels, it's, it's super, it's, it's a bit white, even as uh, slim as it is, it's a bit, um, has a weight to it. And these two, these also have a weight to it. So this is a pink. And these also, I got it in, um, what is this, a fine nib? Yep, fine, nope, medium, I lied. This is a medium nib. It just looks kind of fine, but it seems like all the fountain pens that's from Asia, whether it's from Chinese manufacturer or Japanese, um, their fine is a lot more thinner than the European um, fountain pens. But these, you know, it was two, two of them for $11.20 or 70 cents, something like that. These came with converters, which is nice. Do you see that? So I would put this, dip this in ink, and then you would just go, and you would pull this up, and it'll eat the ink up. Um, and I haven't tested them yet because I'm waiting on specific ink colors that are coming in the mail that I would like to f uh, fill these up with. Right now, I only have black and blue ink, and I would not want to fill these up with that. But this purple one is really pretty. I'm excited. This got good reviews. I know that some people have mixed feelings about these, um, but as for me, you know, if it works, why not? Um, they see it, 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 um, folks that use it says that it's, um, pretty comfortable to write for long periods. And I can see why it's not that heavy. It feels like kind of like the, well, I guess if you put this on, it's a little bit more heavier, but, um, I wouldn't be able to test out how it writes for you guys because I haven't inked it yet. Maybe I'll do an inking one uh, sometime sometime other time. But this came like this. It comes packaged in a velvety little holder in a little box through Amazon. It came like this. Cool, right? Okay, so the, moving on. The next uh, price up would be now, let me see. I think it would be, okay, so it would be the Pilot oh, Varsity. So this one is interesting because um, it's actually uh, a cost effective, but this one's one of those that you you use and you throw away. Um, this got really good reviews on Amazon as well. Um, as you can see, it gives you a variety of colors. Um, it is a, a still nib. 
It gives you seven assorted ink colors. Um, it says it's Jackson, Florida, made in Japan, though. Um, interesting. So, pilot pen. So these here. Yeah, I'm working on my penmanship. Um, but let's see here. So these, uh, the thing with these is, I guess it's pretty good to write. You you use it and you throw it away. But I, that's the thing with me is I don't want to. I'm trying to be less. I, I'm trying to throw away less things. So hopefully by buying all these different ink refills and pens, I don't have to throw away my pens anymore. Um, so that's this the uh, Pilot Varsity. And then moving on, the next less, ex next ex less expensive is Lamy Safari. So this also got really good reviews. I got this one for, six, um, let me see how do I remember? Yes, $16. It was on a sale. Lamy Safari, $16 and 40 something cents. So this one, I got it in a um, medium nib. And the cool thing with this Lamy Safari, if you notice, it has little it divots on the sides like this so that it's supposed to give you a good posture a lot of people say this is their beginner pen pens a lot of people in europe or when i look online for different reviews they say this is like their uh, grade school fountain pen <laughs> and it's designed so that you have a better grip and have an angle so i noticed that when i um you know tried to write because i'm a beginner as well when i when i grip it it's in a specific angle so that i could uh write um And it's super smooth. Um, yeah, definitely compared to the first one, that extra fine nib. Maybe it's because it's extra fine nib. It was kind of like catching onto the paper. But this Lamy Safari medium nib is super smooth. And the ink comes out as fast as I write. It doesn't matter. There's no skipping. So I really like this. Um, if it goes on sale again, I think I'll buy more Lamy Safaris maybe in the future. But I mean, right now I'm such a beginner. I don't need various. I just I'm just trying out different companies and the way it feels on my hand. Um, for now, so that's that. Because I like that Lamy so much, I actually got something called the Lamy Vista fountain pen. Um, and this one was eighteen dollars. And this is a demonstrator. The Vista series is a, a series of which um, it you can see it's clear. And they can see through the pen. And it's wrapped like this. Kind of funny because I got it from my Traveler's Notebook. And this is like its own Traveler's Notebook style. <laughs> That's a little band. And then when you open... Ta-da! Okay. Let me see. Yeah, um, this is great. But then this also, um, this Vista pen... It doesn't, it's, so it looks like this. So pretty much it's, it looks just like the Safari. Safari is made out of heavy plastic. This is also clear plastic. And um, you pretty much would see how much ink you have in here. So you know when it's about to run out. Right now, it seems like it's full of, what is this? Oh, it's, it comes with the, I see, it comes with the ink. So I actually bought a converter for this so that I could put in my, uh, own ink but for now this here do I want to use it maybe I'll use a converter and use a different ink but yeah maybe I'll do that I'm gonna maybe save this for some other time because it's a blue ink as you could tell but I bought a converter um so that I could put in here uh my own inks that I bought it's coming in the mail cute okay all right it's lightweight super lightweight and just like the safari it has like a it's made in a way so that when you hold grip your pen you're gripping in a in a correct way hmm. i like yeah so far i like the lamy lamy um but let's see here so i'll put that back and moving on um the next looks expensive let me see then it's the pilot oh okay yes so the next I got is the Pilot Kakuno. Okay, fountain pen. So these also out of the Pilot series are supposed to be your beginner's uh, fountain pen. So uh, this, it has a cute little smiley face on the front. And it's so that you know that your positioning of your, of your fountain pen is done right. It's supposed to encourage, I guess, kids to um, write 
and have a correct um, grip on their fountain pens. I Both of these are fine. There's a medium that's coming in the way, but I was a sucker for the colors. I couldn't decide for, uh, between the two, so I got both. So I'll open for now this one. Let's see. So Tokyo, made in Japan. It um, tells you how to, um, you know, perfect for beginners, comfortable to hold and easy to use. All the stuff. Right with the smile. Your first fountain pen. Best choice. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so let's see here. It says how to, uh, let's get started for your Kakuno. So it tells you number one, two, three, what to do and write. So make sure you can see my face. So is that cute? Make sure you can see my face so you know you're holding the pen the right way. <laughs> so cute. Alrighty, so that's really nice. It comes with a little like how to. Oh, and it kind of gives you information. So this is for beginners like me. This is useful because I don't know what to call what. So let me see. Let me get this out first. So it says right here. Yes, I know that this is a cap. So this is the pink part's a cap. Okay. It has Pilot Kakuno on it. And then this part is the nib. And this is called a neck. This is the ink cartridge. And this is a barrel. <laughs> for those of you that know fountain pens, this might be really boring for you. But for me, it's exciting and it's something new. Oh, so it comes out like this. Let me see. Do you see that smiley face? Okay. And then I guess you put in here. I also got a converter for this thing. But um, I think for this one, I might just go ahead and use what it came with. So I'm going to go ahead and do what they say. You just go ahead and put it in. So here goes nothing. It's this way, I would think, right? Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, oh okay. So as soon as you put it in, a lot of ink just squirts out here. Wow. But it's in. Okay. Better not leak out. So I, I put that in there. Screw this part on. Okay. That was simple enough. Cute. It doesn't have a, a pen, like, you know, one of these, so you can't really loop it on uh, like a pen loop on your, your TNs, your travels notebooks, but we'll see. Maybe later on I'll give it a go and see how that goes, but this is a Pilot Kakuno. Oh, and right away it writes, oh, no skipping, and yes, I can see the smiley face. So let's see here, Pilot Kakuno. It is a fine nib. This is a medium. This is a fine. I guess you can't really tell, but it does. I can see it on um, in person, but I don't know if it's on video is catching. That's so cute. Okay, I, I like this. So I, I mean, aside from the fact that it's smiling back at me, it's, it's super cute. Oh, uh, this this pink one had a wink, but this one has a full smile with that wink. So maybe by based on color, it's all different. But okay, so moving on, the next one I have the next expensive going up is I got myself a Pilot Metropolitan uh, but the animal print style so I actually gifted different um, versions of this to uh, my mom and dad but I wanted to try out for myself what this one's going to be like so oh my gosh it feels fancy but yeah this is the baseline like beginner's pen for uh, well uh, from the Pilot Kakuno look at that so this is the animal, I got the croc, black croc. This is also a fine nib. Oh yeah, there's nothing in here, it seems like. Oh, look, and then this is um, one of those suction ones. So you would, can I squeeze it? Yeah, there's nothing in here. So use suction, oh, interesting. So you go like this and suction in your ink and your ink is in here. And it's just there based on, uh, by a vacuum. Interesting. I wonder if that would leak though, no? Interesting. So that's that. But it also comes with a cartridge, ink cartridge of their own. This seems like it's a black color as well. Uh, maybe I'll give it a go, right? Let me see. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to give this a go. So that's nice I can with that, but I'm going to... 
try it with the cartridge that it came with. I'm going to push it in just like the other one that I did. Uh, make sure it doesn't spurt out. So once it's in there, I mean, it feels like it's in there. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and scroll on. Let's go and give this a test. Oh. Did I do it wrong? Uh oh, it's not coming out. Did I do something wrong? Uh oh, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I kind of feel like this ink is going to splatter on me, but. So this one, so unlike the other pilot, this is taking a while. Am I doing something wrong, folks? This is not coming out. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay. So, pilot. This is the what? Metropolitan. Oh, it writes really well, though. Animal series. Oh my goodness. I have to practice my penmanship. <laughs> so, animal. Series. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me see, try it with this on. It doesn't feel. This is actually lighter than the um, pink and purple. Um, what it was it is by? What are they called? Let me see. Jin Hao Seven Fifty. That feels a bit more heavier than this. This is actually lighter. And it writes pretty well. Like the ink is not skipping. It feels smooth. As much as it's a fine nib, I got myself a fine nib. It's it's not it doesn't feel like maybe it's because this one's extra fine nib. This actually feels nice. Okay, so that's that. And then lastly, you know, I wanted to try getting myself a pretty looking pen. <laughs> but then this one's actually my most expensive. But it's it's only $23, but I mean still $23. So this is by Moon Man. Moon Man is an Estuary Fountain Pen. And this one's actually gold-plated, which is super cheap, right? $23 gold-plated. I don't know. Is Does that just mean it looks like it's gold? But, or, but like, isn't that pretty? Oh, my gosh. Gold-plated fountain pen. This is a fine nib as well. I think after writing, um, I have to write small, I realize. And it comes with a converter. Look at this. It's so cool. I love it. So we'll see if I hope it doesn't leak or anything, but isn't this pretty? So pretty. So I got this one because this, you know, it's pretty. <laughs> it's actually made of acrylic, so it's super light. It's not heavy. Yep, this is actually really light compared to. Yeah, it's lighter than the Metropolitan for sure. It's lighter than the Metropolitan, but heavier than the Kakuno. So, so pretty, but yeah, that's it. All right, folks. Um, oh, actually, okay. So this one and Lex, so the other, it's not a clicker. You have to screw it on back on Is that pretty. Okay. So anyways, so that's my fountain pen. That's all I have. And that these are the ones I'm going to venture out with. I am waiting on a medium nib of this in a turquoise color that's coming in the mail that I haven't received yet. And, but other than that, everything else, um, this is my fountain pen I'm going to try playing out, uh, playing with um, in my Tamoya River paper. Now, one thing that's really special that came in the mail today that I was pretty excited about is this here. What is this, you guys might ask? This is called, this is a glass pen. Oh my gosh, this, sorry, this video is going so long. <laughs> but this is a glass pen. And, um, oh my gosh, so it comes like this. This was, what, seven bucks on Amazon. It got pretty good reviews, so I'm like, sure, why not, right? Let's, let's give it a try. So you guys are going through this with me. Is this a gimmick or is this for real? I was told it's delicate, so to be careful. So I got... A, look, isn't that cool? <gasps> so cool. So it's a glass nib. So the reason why I got this is because I um, am now like obsessed with like... <sighs> with inks, watercolor, paints, you know. And so... My mom gifted me for Christmas. She says she got me um, Ferris wheel inks, which I'm waiting in the mail. But uh, with that said, I'm thinking, gosh, I want to try different colors and whatnot. 
and be able to switch it out. So I'm going to give this a go and um, you guys are going to experience it with me. I'm going to just, I know these are boring colors, but let's see how it works. So how it's supposed to work is you're supposed to literally be able to just dip this in. Get some ink on this darn thing. And so it has ink all over it. Did you see that? And cool, it doesn't drip off. But let's see how it writes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Super cool. I mean, it makes a glass noise. Let's see how the how long this goes. Um, maybe A, B, C, D, C. <laughs> Let's see if we can write all our alphas, alphabets with that re-inking. Okay, so it's okay, it's still going. Oh my gosh. I thought that maybe, you know, you'll have to re-ink this like several times but no uh, it's still going folks uh, wow do you see that it's 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 still look at how much reservoir of ink it has and look how pretty it writes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost juicy to the, the ink. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. So then how do I, I guess, uh, what do you do is you just clean this, kind of like watercolor paint. You clean it up and you call it good. Um, this is cool. Oh my gosh this is so cool okay i don't want to bore you guys anymore but i i am pretty actually this is only seven dollars on amazon this little pen um waterman this i got it on sale this ink i got it for what less than like five bucks it was like 4.59 or something like that so these two i mean as long as you don't mind dipping every once in a while um I really like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I could I could draw with this thing. I could do ink drawings. And I am excited. I am so excited. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me and experience my first unboxing of a glass nib and with all the different fountain pens. I will uh, probably give better reviews in the future. Um, once I get my Ferris wheel inks, I'll share those with you as well. But for today, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.